it's it's a creation, so it's a, it came from the imagination. So I start with an an image of a little girl uh, on the moon on a sandbag with the planet in the back. So the girl of the future thinking to the space, and we developed the show around this idea. Welcome to the garage. The experience of this Cirque show comes already from the lobby where you've got a feeling where you'd start your traveling, so that's why we call the, the two entrances like the gates. And from those you get into those tunnels that are time the time rot. There's so much energy and time put in programmation and getting all this machine running. So that was when you get here, like all the concepts are there, but then, then you need the machine to be like moving and then you get the first moves and then you want to refine that and that's going to go on anyways, like through the life of the show. On Zaya, the 75 artists all do their own makeup and each makeup takes about two hours to do. So my role here is mostly of a makeup teacher. So when we have new artists coming to the show, we teach them their makeup and so that they are able to do it themselves. We do all the fabric ourselves. Uh, we, we, st we buy the fabric in the, the basic white uh, and after we dye it, we transform it. This time we use a lot of sublimation and you, we use the sublimation on both sides of the fabric. So when, a, when an acrobat uh, lands and he goes to his next place, I'm the one who, get, who teaches him how to move and what he's supposed to do. The hard about the, the hardness of this job is that most of these acrobats have never performed in theater shows before. They come from world-class uh, competitions, they come from the Olympics, so you have to train them to be performers now. And clearly that's what makes Cirque du Soleil uh, the international company we are because we do treat our acrobats as performers, as artists is what we call them. It's a very strong connection between the performers and the musicians. You're doing basically the same show. There is, you, it can become a bit of a routine, a bit, but you have to remember that people are risking their lives every day. So there, when you're flying through the air and you're 50 feet, if you miss, you're going to fall into a net, you're awake. <laughs> you're awake. And when we have to make sure that we hit something with them, otherwise the, the number doesn't work. My responsibility is to produce the band that's playing through the sound system so the audience hears it and experiences what the composer has written. So again, everyone, with the sphere, with the unclip, and Terry will cue in the recycling dance music. Crack. Boop, boop. What's most important is that we have a collaboration between the sound designer and the composer. There has to be a synergy there, and if there isn't, you're never going to have 100% of, of, of the product that, that you need to give the audience. Singers are actually singing a combination of phonemes becomes what we call here at Cirque the invented language, the imaginary language, the language that the audience will, will hear from wherever they come from. They, they can't say they know this language, so it, make, it adds to the journey. 